Hello and welcome. My name is Vin. I apologize for this um, video solution to this question earlier on because I was doing it past midnight. Probably the heat, my mind wasn't clear, and I tend I, I <laughs> overcomplicated matters here. So now, this is the proper to correct uh, interpretation. Not that it's wrong, but I wouldn't want to complicate matters for that reason. So. As always, my philosophy to keep things simple. Kiss. Let's take a look at this question again. I think walks to school and an average speed of 4 km per hour every day. So one day after walking a distance of 1 km, he realized that his watch was slow. So he ran at a constant speed and managed to reach school just on time. Later, he calculated that if he had run at this speed right from the start of the journey, he would have reached school 5 minutes earlier. What was his running speed? So very simple, or oh, rather, let's stop saying that because it's not simple to some students, I believe. Okay, it's alright, don't don't lose heart because this is what math is all about. Practice and have fun, you'll begin to like it and begin to score high marks for that. Okay, let's draw a typical timeline that you're familiar with. Cycle of fifth, start and an end, you know, the, the destination which is school. So input whatever information that you could. So after walking a distance of 1 km, you walk. Okay, and we were told that he walked at an average speed of 4 km per hour. And then after that, he ran all the way, right? Okay, that's it. But uh, well, in this case, I would say that it's not necessary to find out what is the distance that he ran. I'll show you why. Okay, so move on. Uh, okay, in the second scenario, uh, hypothetically, if he had run at the speed right from the start of the journey, so let's say if you started running at the start, that means from here, the start to all the way to school. So this is how, how it would appear. So the first first one kilometer, he would have ran instead of walk. So, but then in the second portion of this journey, okay, both are running. So what does it imply? Same distance, same speed, so same time. Agree? So over this part, I will say that it's the same time. That is, uh, ooh, that is used in the two scenarios because same speed, same distance, same time. Okay, but here we are told that if he had started running from the start of the journey, he would have reached school five minutes earlier. So five minutes earlier must come from the fact that uh, let's change some color <laughs> to this. all right. So the difference must be from the fact that the first one kilometers he walked and then he ran. Agree? So let's move on to solve this. Okay, coming back to the question again. So like what I say just now, we have the first one kilometers that is different because the first scenario he walked, the second scenario he ran. So what is the time taken to walk? Easy because we have the distance, we have the speed. Applying the formula, we can get speed uh, time equals to distance divided by time. This, oh, sorry, sorry. Time equals to distance divided by speed, and that will give you one quarter hour, which is fifteen minutes. So we were told that he would reach school five minutes earlier. So the five minutes must come from here. As well as I said just now, this portion of the journey, they will take both the same time in a, uh, in the two scenarios. Agree? So, the time ticket if you run for the first one kilometer will be 10 minutes. And then, or rather, we will use 1 over 6 hour because right now, in order to find the running speed in kilometers per hour, we have to convert everything into hour. Right? So, applying the formula again, speed is equals to distance divided by time. Get it as simple as that. Just that you need to know that uh, it may not be so clear, it may not be so obvious, but take time to ponder and you get it. That's easy. Practice and have fun. <laughs> That's it. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you again.